We were in Edmonton visiting um, for a weekend and Kenzie woke up one morning, I guess, with a puffy eye mm -hmm. and we thought it might be just allergies from the grass or whatever. So, but that night at returning to Calgary, it still hadn't gone down with Benadryl. So we thought we'd go to Children's and just get it checked out. And so we're just in the emergency room waiting what we thought maybe just get antibiotics or whatever, it's an infection. And then they basically come in and say, your daughter has leukemia. Make-A-Wish Canada grants wishes to children with life-threatening medical conditions and we really try to bring hope, strength and joy to children and their families at a time when they're going through a very difficult uh, situation. I think it was a family friend who had mentioned it to us so mm -hmm. I went to the website and, and read more about it and um, thought yeah be great for Kenzie to have a wish. We approached Make-A-Wish Canada and we let them know that we wanted to adopt a wish. What's so special about this year is that they're celebrating their 30th anniversary. So to uh, celebrate that and commemorate this incredible milestone, we want to do something that Weshet has never done before, and that was going beyond just donating the air travel and actually following the wish granting process from start to finish. A memorable moment was when um, we hosted a wish reveal party for Mackenzie. Uh, there was a group of us West Shedders who crammed into the family's house um, carrying Hawaiian decorations and a dolphin shaped cake and uh, we decorated the house waiting for Mackenzie to come home from preschool. Um, I just remember us all waiting there in the living room um, and just waiting for the door to open and when she finally came in just the look on her face of curiosity and surprise and excitement. Everyone at WestJet was, uh, went above and beyond. The dolphin cake and the M&Ms that were custom made for a Hawaii trip. And that was when it all became real, I think, for Mackenzie and her family. And uh, to see them just thinking about it, planning for it. And that's really a huge part of the wish, is the anticipation. It really helps at a tough time in her life to have something to focus on, something to strengthen her. One thing we did for Mackenzie is we made a donation to adopt a dolphin for her, which she was really excited about, and then finally announced to her and let her know that her wish to go to Hawaii and, and swim with the dolphins was being fulfilled. Mackenzie's smile went from ear to ear, and that's really what it's all about. It was incredible the amount of attention and detail that our West Shedders at the airport put on this wish. Uh, when the family arrived at the airport, they had set up a, a special check-in counter for the family. I've never seen a send-off like that. It was just amazing. The uh, hula dancers, the musicians. One of the customer service agents had even painted waves with her daughter so as the family was walking up it looked like they were walking through these waves. Uh, everyone at WestJet with a huge smile and just doing everything they could for Mackenzie and her family. Grandma Irina was able to go on the trip as well. Well it was so important. Um, these are her only two grandchildren and um, they're very dear to her so um, and being part of that whole journey it was um, yeah, she was there for every step of it, the way, and it was just, it made sense for her, and we wanted her to be there for the, the trip. As we boarded the plane, they had lays for all the guests, so even the flight was going to Vancouver, they, they had a lay for every guest as they were boarding, and it was, it was just a, a really great moment to have everyone come together, have West Jetters and our guests um, really celebrate celebrate Mackenzie and then just I, I'll never forget because Calgary we don't get that much rain but as we were leaving the ground crew is in the pouring rain outside yeah. they all have hula skirts so we're looking out the window of the plane and we see all the ground crew being poured on and they have a big sign for Mackenzie and I just thought that was so thoughtful Seeing the family the first day in Hawaii when they 
spent the first day at the beach. It was really great just seeing how relaxed and happy they were. Matthew and his dad, Tom, tossed around a football in the water, and Mackenzie building sandcastles on the beach, and Mackenzie splashing Grandma in the water. It was, just, it was great to see them just relax and, and really enjoy each other. She's always up for a challenge or an adventure, so loves getting in the water. It was amazing to be a part of that day when the family showed up to Dolphin Quest Hawaii and uh, the crew there was so amazing in spending extra time with the family and answering any and all of their questions um, and spending extra time with them in, in the water. Matthew, are you scared of feeding the dolphin? No. <laughs> Like the fish and fish. The fish felt a bit slimy, didn't yeah. they? Was it were the fish slimy when you fed them? Yeah. Did they feel slimy? Were you scared of doing that? Mm. No. Did you like giving the dolphin a kiss? Yeah. And then he sneezed, remember? Or she sneezed on daddy. Remember that? <laughs> this was the moment. This is the moment where the where the wish was happening where it was actually coming true. Remember that trick? Oh, what was the trick? What did you do? You wiggled your fingers? Yeah. And what did that make the dolphin? <laughs> yeah. And what did the dolphin feel like? Remember? Smooth. Smooth. Bit squishy. Just to see the family finally relax and then really enjoy the experience um, was, was a great moment. Remember you made a flower lay with that lady? And then she taught us hula dancing and Matthew got scared and ran away from a bee. Remember how funny that was? It huge, was huge. huge. How big was it? How big was it? <laughs> it was really big. <laughs> yeah. I remember we went to Luau and we got to try some neat Hawaiian food. Without the support from WestJet, we could not continue to grant the wishes that we grant across Canada. So a huge thank you to WestJet. So many trips, there's always things to be concerned about or... But it seems like Make-A-Wish and WestJet thought about all the little touches that would make our lives a lot easier with the kids. And they were always making sure, is that okay with you? And um, yeah, and it was just seamless. Like it, and they made it really easy to um, have a great trip. Congratulations Make-A-Wish Canada on your 30th anniversary. We are so excited to continue our partnership with you. It's just a magical time where you forget Forget about hospital visits and doctors and medicine and just enjoy the sunshine and being together as a family. So it was really nice. Very special. Grandma liked everything about the trip, but most of all spending it with you and seeing how happy you were. Watching you and Matthew swim and have fun. It was a magical trip that we will remember forever. Forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah.